The nearest village is a little village called Skirla. S K I R L A U G H. Around here they call it Skella. <laughs> Just to the south of us is Hull. Gosh, I'll go over over the year. Uh, today it's funny, like, because we're we're a bit, like we're a bit of a mixed farm now. Like, I, my brother nominated me, which is a bit strange. And I entered it thinking, you know, I don't. The people that win it are sort of these big, big arable boys, but. One of the questions for people entering was what have you changed in your farming system in the recent years and in 2013 we changed the Missouri system and I think it's played a massive role. We've, we've gone from a sort of a full cultivation system to a system where we don't need to, we just go straight into the stubble like we are today to sort of where we use minimum disturbance cultivations either using a, a, a light disc, like a set of discs or the Missouri straw rake. But yeah, it made a massive part because I think they were looking for someone that was young and, and, and sort of changed the farming system and we had and, and we've changed the Missouri in 2013 like I said and it's, um, yeah, it's, I think it's played a massive role to be fair. Strip till is, was what we wanted to get into. Um, like I said, it, it comes from established horses rate with a with a subsoiler. Uh, we looked at the Claydon um, and the Sumo, so we looked at the other competitors. And in my mind, looking at the Missouri and the way that it's set up, you know, it's got a, it's got high clearance. It's got clearance throughout the machine for trash and residues to flow through, um, which I felt the other machines didn't offer. Um, the press wheel at the back, you know, consolidating the seed into that moist soil you know, is, is the key to the system, but also the wheel in between the, the front leg and the coulter is, is vital, which you know, is, is lacking on some of the other machines. Um, and build quality, we all know that spearhead machines were built seriously well. Um, and so Martin's background with, with spearhead when you look at the Missouri, it's 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 a strong machine, um, and, you, and you look at build quality. You don't want the machine breaking down a lot when you're using it. We strip till across the farm, about 85 to 90 percent is is strip tilled. You sort of go digging now, four years in, where the soil hasn't been turned over for four or five years. You, you're starting to build up that you know, that organic matter in the surface and. It's adding organic matter to the soil, it's adding P and K. You're not exporting that off the farm when you're you know, baling it and selling it. But yeah, it, it breaks down, it, it increased, you know, makes the soil more workable. But yeah, the soils are changing. Yeah, we, I do go out with my spade and I'm looking for worms, which you know, is a, a strange hobby. Um, and I was doing it the other day and, and you're sort of finding, you know, I've read something on the on the Leaf website that is it between 10 and 15 worms per metre squared is a is a really healthy soil. Well, the other day I was digging after a, a mustard cover crop. I had 30 worms on one spade full, uh, and some other soils you sort of get in between 10 and 12. But that's on a spade, so a foot square of soil. It's just doing the minimum required to a get a good establish a good crop. But a lot of it is just when nature get on with its, its job because nature will always find a way. And because of what we're doing, it's massively reduced our establishment costs. You know, at the minute, I have no real effect on, on commodity prices. I can look for you know, different markets or premiums, but you know, farmers aren't in charge of that. That's you know, sort of out of your hands. But what is in our hands is, is, is what it costs to get you know, that ton of wheat or ton of all seed rape. So with us being tenants, we, you know, we're, we're really focused on cutting our costs um, and this machine offers it. So in some instances, we're down to sort of establishing crops for 50, 60 pounds a hectare. Well, you know, before that we were double, maybe more than that. Um, but yeah, we're averaging, I would say, half of what we were spending um, before. Um, and it's quantifying time, you know, we're sort of 
At drilling time, it's a lot of the time it's just you on your own in, in a field. Um, whereas before we were sort of, at drilling time, there could be three, four of us in a field. And it's that labour, diesel cost, machinery cost that, that switch into a, a strip till, you know, no-till system um, offers. Um, and it does give you a bit more time on your hands, you know, it's, I've got a young family. Uh, before we were strip, switched to strip till, I mean, harvest time, I wasn't, I was never off a tractor seat. Um, and yeah, I've got a young family, it does give you that bit of time on a weekend to sort of spend with them. Um, which in my eyes is, when you sit back, is more important sometimes than farming. We looked at the result rake, uh, the stubble rake, and we bought that a couple of years ago. And that was mainly one of the challenges with the with uh, the strip till, I think the you know, direct drill, no-till systems is slugs can be a bit of an issue, especially after all seed rape or where you're starting to bring cover crops into the system. And I, I don't think it's, it's something to put people off, it's you've just got to learn how to manage them. So we find that on hot days, especially where we've we generally sort of run the all-seed rape subbles just really lightly just to get a chit. And we were finding that if you go on a really hot, sunny day with the stubble rake, it just flicks the, any clods, uh, physically will kill slugs, turns the clods over where the slug eggs are and dries them out in the hot sun, moves the, the stalks. And we're finding that actually we sort of use slug bait on the drill but the past two years, we haven't gone in into any rape stubbles with any post-treatment slug pellets. So I think the combination of physically killing and, and, and you know drying the slug eggs out, plus sort of baiting at drilling time, it's, it's you know massively reduced our, the amount of metaldehyde we're using because I think it's it's just the physical sort of drying the slugs. And you're not doing a massive amount cultivation-wise. You're literally just moving that surface on a hot day and it, and it just dries them out. Um, but you're not worried about losing moisture because the pro till is always going to bring, from the front leg, bring moisture when you're seeding. So whereas conventional systems, the more you move the soil and cultivate it you know, in a hot sort of late summer into the autumn, it, it can get quite dry. So um, that was the main reason for bringing the rake into it. And then obviously the, the pro till um, is the drill and that's allowed us to get into contracting. So I'll just try putting an advert out and um, yeah, we've picked up a bit of work and it's just grown year on year. I'm not going to go out and try and compete with, yeah, there's some, there's a couple of established contracts in the area and a lot of it's you don't want to step on their toes, but you've either got to just go undercut them all or you've got to find a bit of a niche way of doing it. And, and that machine offered us something that was a bit different. And yeah, it, it's just growing year on year. It's, it's, it's you know, we'll, we'll, we don't want to get to the point where we're overstretching ourselves, but at the minute we've, we've got room for more work. But, all seed rape's a funny one because we're not doing, whereas before we would literally have tractors doing different operations in the fields, we're not having to go out and do that in the summertime. It's either doing nothing to the stubbles or lightly cultivating them or stubble raking them. So that tractor and that machine for the majority of August and into early September is, it isn't doing a lot. So we saw that as a window to go out and, and do some contracting, which it offers that opportunities to do it really but going forward like I say Brexit will have a massive impact on what we're doing I mean you're seeing it with the with the take-up of direct drilling and the take-up of strip till drilling like I said you can't you've got no control really over your end market to an extent um, and all you can do is, is cut your cost per acre cost per hectare cost per ton um, and I think that's what more and more farms will start to look at and they are in you know looking at the, you know, the popularity of Missouri you know, they're, they're growing all the time.